Today we're gonna go diving off the coast of California to get sea urchin, my favorite food in the world. But first, let's flash back to this morning. We had a pretty early wake up. It is 5 a.m. We're headed to the uni boat. I really don't have any idea what to expect. And they also said it's been pretty rough out there and the boat ride is an hour. So fingers crossed we can get out there and get some urchins. See you at the dock. All right, so there's no way I could have figured out this whole urchin situation by myself. So that's why we got Justin. What's up, Justin? Hey, what's How happening? are you? Nice to Feel meet you. Feel pretty good, likewise. Thank you for having us today. Of course. You man. ready to go? Yeah. It's. I know it's been rough out there. We're excited that we can make this work. Yeah. Yeah, is this like risky go. for you or to go out on this day or not? No, I think we'll be all right. Tell the tale when we get back, if we get back. There's not much of a deck, you know? Yeah, it's pretty much like a little truck. I think it was in like the 70s. They started making boats uh, specific or uh, urchin. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's go. Look, it's so easy to fall off the boat. I've never been this close to sea level on a boat. Justin, do you just like floor it right now? Have <laughs> off the back. This dude's got some torque. Their arms up. <laughs> Justin, what are they doing? They're just hanging out. Why do they have their arms up? <laughs> I've had one time, one got really, really friendly with me. Be honest with me here, what are the odds that we'd see a shark? Pretty right unlikely. Yeah? Yeah. Anything that's big. That's There's always small little reef sharks and stuff. That's but you said, didn't you say this was like shark season right now? I think right now. It's right now. This could be the time, if you were to see something happen, this would probably be the time for it. So, a lot of whales in the water, a lot of seals, a lot of It's like this kelp thick kind of kelp. Oh my God, it's beautiful though. You want to be pretty selective of where you're picking up so you get the best quality possible. So this yeah. is our spot. This is it. This is where we're going to try. Oh, that's the air. That's how you breathe. Yep. Through a hose. How many urchins can you fit in this thing? This one, not as many. It's got like 80 pounds. It's like planting the um, flag on the boot. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So this is measuring device to make sure I'm picking legal size urchins three and a quarter without this you get in a lot of trouble so if you don't have that in the ocean someone comes and checks on you you can get big ticket totally screwed really bad. you don't want to be that guy so this is a rake it's how you actually pick the urchins off the bottom and off the rock so um so Justin I got a story for you so you just said you had some quills spines in you everywhere so. yeah. every all over your body Pretty much yeah. I got this tiny I'm not like you see that the black yeah that's yep. that's that's a quill I got that in my hand like 10, 15 years ago. It's one of my favorite oh my stories because my brother pissed all over my hand and arm after I did this. I thought this was stingrays. Exactly. <laughs> oh how, how long does this hose give you? I mean, it's a long hose. I think it's 400 feet. So he's putting tons of conditioner all over his body here. Lots of conditioner. Just lathering it up. If I run out of conditioner, I got to use kelp. No <laughs> way. All the gooeyness All the, the gooey off the kelp. Is this your trick or did you learn this? Oh no, this isn't mine. Oh, that slides right That's what off. everybody does. So he's gonna fire this thing up right here and that's gonna start helping to breathe underwater. Yep. So Justin's been underwater for about 10 minutes now. I actually can't go down because we're flying tonight and you're really not supposed to go underwater and then fly that same day. It's just super dangerous. With that said, you can see that he's over there right now. There's a bunch of bubbles kind of coming out of the water on the surface if you can see that. And this guy's just a clear badass. From what he's told us, he does this year round, just going and diving for sea urchin. And people wonder why it's such an expensive thing in restaurants or wherever you can find it, if you can even find it in the first place. And I think we all understand now why that is. Similar to that waiter we saw at Salt Bay's restaurant a while back, I find Justin to be a very handsome guy. Just thought I'd toss that in there. He just popped up here. I don't know what he found. Oh my God. Just a couple. Look how pretty. Those are gorgeous. So I'm gonna give you guys an idea. Yeah. This would just be a full day of just filling this bucket, coming up, filling this bucket again. Yeah. For the processor, you wanna try to get as many good quality regions. Just pick those all day. If you're going direct market. These are beautiful. Yeah, those are really nice. It's moving Super right around healthy. on my hand. They're eating a lot of the kelp. That's the beak, right? The beak. Look at him moving around. It's unbelievable. These are really happy and healthy, so. Happy and healthy? How can you tell? Well, they're just in the kelp. You tell they're Amazing. just real lively. They're just gorgeous. Whenever they're eating kelp, that's a good sign that they're just healthy. So Manny dropped his glasses, and after taking all of his gear off just before cutting into the urchins, Justin is going back in 
this is a near impossible task given that we dropped them like 15 minutes ago and they probably drifted a while, but Justin's also a weapon, so. You can see the air bubbles again where Justin is. He's moving so incredibly fast across the water. He's like a- He's just like a submarine, it's nuts. <laughs> He's a submarine. Justin the submarine. I feel bad doing this while Justin's in the water. Are you filming me? No. Nothing. Justin, should we let a couple go? Yeah, let's let them. Let's let a few live another day, huh? Let them keep having a good life down there. The chosen ones. Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> Manny, let one go. What's prickly? Oh my yeah. gosh. Aww. When you hold the urchins, actually, you can see on my hand there's like a bunch of little purple bruised marks. It happened so fast. They, they're so sharp. All right, now that it's quiet, we got all our gear off. Should we try them? Yeah, let's see what, what we got. This is, in fact, my favorite food in the whole world, so I'm pretty excited about it. Is there a method here, or are you just gonna go just for it? Kind of split them in half a little bit. You can already see it, huh? Yeah, so you're gonna make some good ones. Oh my God. Eat the kelp. This is as fresh as it gets, by the way. See, this is the actual Get row open. here. This is what icks most people out. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, this is what you get the sushi bar. Yeah, it's about as fresh as you get. It should be really sweet. Look how perfect that is. Get a nice yellow row. That's when you know it's gonna be good. Should... So that right there is like a pretty solid piece of uni, right? Yeah. I mean that's a good it's... piece. So this right here is a beautiful piece of urchin. We could still get a cleaner slice if we had probably the proper tools out here, but we're just doing it rustic in the most basic way possible here. It's gonna taste the same. It's gonna taste really good. That's yeah. what matters, right? You can tell just right away that it's a good one. Just how you... All of that orange and yellow. Yeah, so this thing's pretty stuff. Oh, really wow. good color. So the coolest thing about all this is that from here, we get these, which are just these light, creamy, I mean, they're perfect. They're so soft and smooth, right? They're delicious. It's to me, amazing. this is like the taste of the ocean. This is, it's like the iconic ocean bite. Should we try it? Yeah, let's go for let's it. Let's go, here right. we go. Cheers. Nice. It's just a blast of cream. It's like a little briny, a little salty. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Yeah. It's, per it's perfect, really. So after all this time, you said you still actually eat this stuff. You Every day I die. That's amazing. Yeah. And you love it? I love it. And I'll That's... keep eating it forever. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, there's a reason that it's my favorite food. There's something about it. If you have the opportunity to try it ever, I think you totally should. Because it's one of those things that you might get in a restaurant, right? And it's going to be crappy and disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it's can still be really good. Sometimes. It just depends on who you're getting it from and how it's being handled. If you get it from the source and you find a source like this and you can get it that way, it, it's hard not to love, right? Yeah, I, I feel that way. So. It's insane. Should we head back to the dock? Let's do it. Let's yeah. go. Right on. So we just passed this plastic bag, this trash. Justin, I know you don't tolerate trash in the ocean. Not at all. Not at all. You you always look back and grab stuff, yeah? If I see any plastic bags or balloons, I always go grab them. See that, Manny? Look at that. This is the best catch of the day. Right, Justin? That's it. Right there. The best catch of the day. Nick! Nick! Oh my god! Oh my god! I found my trash! I found my trash! <laughs> Why are you so excited about it? Nick, get it! Oh my god. This is a big ocean cleanup day here. So based on all that, and before we close, I want to talk about something. I'm guessing that most of you are like me and that you hate when there's trash and things in the water. To be totally honest, that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves ever, especially because I've grown up being on the water so much and take food from the ocean. And that's why I've paired up with Mr. Beast and hundreds of other creators to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. But this means we need to raise $30 million by the end of the year. The concept here is super simple. Every dollar raised will take out one pound of trash from the ocean. And I did the math. For every dollar raised, 50 of these water bottles will be taken out of the sea. 50 is a lot of water bottles. All of the money will go to the ocean cleanup and the UN. And all this trash cleanup will be achieved through trash eating robots, which is super cool, giant ocean cleanups, and many other things. So go to teamseas.org to donate today if you can, and know that even a single dollar is gonna be super powerful. I will personally be donating $20,000 of my own, which means I'll be taking out 1 million water bottles like this out of the ocean. This has been an amazing experience. So let's go clean up the boat and head home. Justin, before we leave, can I let this little last guy go? Of course. I, I want to eat him, but in the spirit of this whole ocean thing too, let's let's let him free. Just give it, give it, give some back. Hopefully he finds his way home. I think it'll be all right. It's pretty far. That was honestly one of the coolest things yet. We do a lot of like trip uh, videos, like where we just go and we, I don't know, we want, we got fresh honey from honeycomb. We've gotten cacao pods from Ecuador. We've done like everything under the sun at this point. But I have to say, because partly you were a great host, but also Uni's my favorite food, this was, this was perfect. 
for the record, it was also Justin's first time on camera, and I would say he was a natural, so show him some love in the comments below. Appreciate that. Right? But honestly, Justin, thank you so much for having us today. That was insane. Um, hopefully we weren't too much of a burden out there on the boat. I know Manny can be a handful. I was really surprised. You had great sea legs and you're a good company. We so. tried to hold our own today, but thank you so much for having us. Hopefully you can come back out and next time I'll be able to dive with you. Yeah. The plane ride might have killed me if I dove today. So yeah, you're always welcome. Next time. Thanks, Justin. Of course. All right, it's a little bit later on in the day, but we set up this appointment with the sea urchin packing facility. Basically, at the end of the day, when all the divers are finished, they take all those urchins, crack them open, which we already saw. But what I really want to see now is them packing them so delicately into those cute little wood containers that they always come in. So let's head there now and check it out. Uh, uni is pretty much the balls of the sea urchin. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term of the sea urchin is we're, we're actually eating the gonads. So it's really actually the balls of the sea urchin. Yeah, yeah, it's literally. That's, literally yeah. the uh, reproductive organ. Gonads doesn't sound as appetizing. No. So, so, you know, we say roe, like, yeah. un, you know, like salmon roe, caviar, that kind right. of stuff. We soak the sea urchin in salt cool. and a little bit of preservative, alum, to firm them up. Because if you don't put alum in them, Uni pretty much melts like in a day. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. So I think that's kind of, yeah, you know. Yeah. So we got, you, once with alum in there, it firms up the uni, and then it's good for like ten days. It's out of the brine tanks onto the baskets. The packers pack them by color individually, yeah. one by one. Cool. Make sure all the color is uniform per tray. So all the, the pretty A grade trays go to uh, one tray, and then uh, like the B grade, other grades go so to cool. other stuff. So they separate them here. I'm packing some some of our premium grade stuff. Some of the big ones. Yeah. The, the large. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we shipped almost every major city. No, you know, we, we, we believe, you know, Santa Barbara is definitely one of the best in the world. Up there next to Japan. Next to Japan, Hokkaido Uni. It's, it's a different it's a different flavor profile. Premium, premium, A++ grade. This is the best of the best that we have. And then we have like, this is like the A grade, B grade, A minus, double A. And these are actually some of the imports. Is there C? C, we don't put a label on. <laughs> uh, so you can't eat the uh, female? No, you can't. So what are you eating if you eat the female? Same thing? The Same thing. 99% of the time people aren't going to be able to tell unless you're like a uni connoisseur. Yeah. You know, but if you compare the male and the female sea urchin, uh, male sea urchins uh, taste, tend to taste sweeter. Okay. And, and, and better. So we, we make sure our premium grade is only packed with the male sea urchin. Okay. Female sea urchins um, have a little bit more of a gray, dull yellow tint to the color. Yeah. Versus male have more of a red, orangey red tip. Wow. It's hard to tell. You know, like Hokkaido uni is really hard to tell. You can't really tell, but with the Santa Barbara uni, a little bit easier. So like, yeah, here, here's a good, so it's a little bit more extreme, but here's a male sea urchin right here. And then this is right here would be a female sea urchin. So, so, so how much are we talking for like a tray or whatever? How, how much does this cost? So, this is $100. Uh, there's 200 grams in there, so which equates to about $500 a kilo. Wow. Yeah, you know, the, the sea urchins are handpicked one by one yeah. by the divers. Over here too, you know, we process and pack them all by, by hand. They're not easy thing to crack into either. No, not at all. Right? Yeah, it's a little spiky. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that was one of the more fun days I've ever had on the water or with a video in general for that matter. There aren't many times in life where you're going to get to go and catch your favorite food in the world. Fresh as it can get from one of the two best places in the entire world to get it in the first place. Once again, I want to give a massive thanks to Justin for making the whole day happen because it was seriously incredible and I hope you all enjoyed the experience too. Again, if you've made it this far, don't forget to toss a like on the video and subscribe and I'll see you for our next crazy adventure.